All right, here we go, guys, and we are at the 2024 Tobey Beach Show by Jones Beach in Long Island, New York, and today we're going to look at small pilot house boats. The boats are going to range in size from 19 feet to 22 feet, and we're going to have a wide range of manufacturers representing different parts of the country. We're going to start with a 19-foot Arima built in Washington State. We're also going to have a Defiance, another West Coast brand. They're 22. We're going to have some local representation from Steigercraft. They're 21 Peconic. And finally, uh, the senior member of the group, the Parker, built in North Carolina for many years. They're 2120, a very polarizing boat, in my opinion, because of one design aspect of it. You'll see that in a few minutes. Um, and yeah, I'll offer you my thoughts at the end, but let me know in the comments what you think, which you would pick, and why. Hope you enjoy this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And like I said, we're going to start with that Arima 19. Now, now, how's this for a unique boat? 19 foot pilot house. You can see with that Alaska style forward uh, windows. 59,990. It's it's an Arima. So these are built in Washington. Sea Chaser, Yellowtail Pilot House 19. Uh, it butchered the order of everything, but uh, let's take a quick look inside. I mean, this is really friggin' cool. Really cool. I am gonna. Whoa! I'm gonna step inside this one. Hopefully, I didn't just buy it by breaking it. But I, presuming you put a couple bench seat, or a couple of. Uh, Rear seats in here. It looks like there's room for cushions. Three rod holders here. Nice big rigging area here with a couple cup holders. Um, really interesting layout. More rigging here. This actually pops up. I don't know how you move this. I guess this way. Yeah, there's a live well or a little sink area actually. Let's see what's on this side. Interesting design. Yeah, same thing on this side. Uh, what is this? See if we can get this up. Is this the bilge axis or is this storage? Yeah, just some storage in here. Very shallow storage, but storage nonetheless. Same over here. One seat here. You do have the curtains here. This curtain comes down to close the pilot house out. And yeah, uh, six feet tall. A lot of headroom in here. Looks like these windows or these pop up. These looks like there's holders here i don't know somebody who knows this boat better than i may want to comment uh seating for three in the pilot house area like i said one there one here one here footrest there just a basic layout here mechanical steering there a little bit of uh storage there and there is a little cabin in here it's very small but it's a 19 foot boat how many 19 foot boats have any kind of little little berth like that. I'm sure you could put cushions in there. And again, the forward facing windows. So if it's raining or harsh conditions, this is less prone to getting salt spray and whatnot. You do have two windshields though. I like this one a lot. 59.90 or 59.990. The Arima 19 built in Washington. I think the sign said Seattle. Uh, yeah, really cool. Let's see what's next. And hey, competing with that uh, 19 uh, Arima, a Steigercraft 21 Peconic. There we go. It's got a Yamaha F-150 on it, 87.4. Let's take a, take a look at this one. Um, unabashed Steigercraft fan. Peconic is my local uh, waterway. It's where I keep my boat in Peconic Bay. These boats are built in Long Island. Um, and this is not a deep V model, similar to that Arima. You see the Yamaha F-150, but a lot of room here. It is kind of a notch transom. It is set back though, so you, you actually gain a decent amount of cockpit space. That's just a step ladder to come in. What do we got on the sides here? Yeah, we have a little, uh, a little bait prep area. It's not very deep. What about this side? Same thing on this side. Close that. A couple rod holders on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six rod holders on top. Got the curtains here closing out the back and sides. Got a straight walk through, no step. Two seats here if you got rid of these curtains. Two helm seats here. Very basic layout. Can still stand up in it even though it's a 21 footer. Uh, these windshields open up. There are windshield wipers. Don't think these slide open. It doesn't look like they do. 
little cabin here, cup holder here, cup holder here, compass where it should be, uh, digital throttle on this one. Question for you guys, uh, do you take this or the uh, much cheaper, smaller Arima 19? I'd probably go with this. I am a little biased. This is built in Long Island, but that Arima does look cool and it is significantly cheaper. Um, what's the price on this one? Uh, it's down there. Don't get old, folks. I already forgot what it was. Um, oh, here it is. $87,400. Um, all right. Two small pilot houses. Interesting design. So let's see what's next. All right, a Yamaha F200 on a 2025-21 Deep V Miami, a Steigercraft, 117,295. Let's get a side profile of the boat. It's a Deep V Steiger. They also make the modified V. Let's jump on board and take a look at it. Nice integrated boarding ladder here. This is the new style. Uh, Yamaha with the electric steering. Oh, locally made. I'm from Long Island. These boats are built in Long Island. Step on board. First thing I see that I love one, two, three, four, five, six rocket holders or rocket launchers, rod holders, LED lights, uh, rod holders on the side too. You have this uh, bench seating here that flips out of the way fully bracketed boat as well. Big kill box here. There's something that we built into our Cobia. One, uh, the weight uh, lockers here, two ounce, four ounce, six ounce, eight ounce, 10 ounce. Got the same on that side. Great little thing for the weights. You got curtains on the back of this one. I like that, not dealing with doors. Also a level access, no step down to get in. It does mean a slightly smaller headspace but six feet tall still have two three inches here this is the 21 so just two seats in here very basic layout no electronics on this one there is digital steering though uh digital throttle pardon me i make that mistake all the time storage here four rows of storage here you see a porta potty in here nice finished area um, to get out of the sun to get out of the elements go to take a quick nap and uh, again, very partial to me, built here in Long Island. Uh, so that's gonna score some extra points for me. But uh, yeah, very functional layout. Look, a little cubby area here. It's nicely finished, a couple of rod holders, up, a couple of cup holders up here. More storage here. Uh, storage under there too. Four drawers here, in fact. Um, that's a great thing about these pilot houses. Another cup holder up here for the, for the uh, operator of the vessel. Um, there's a windlass and a spotlight on this one as well. Forward little fan here, that's nice. Um, yeah. I would probably take this over a Parker 21 Pilot House. Um, I like the level deck and, you know, the Long Island routes too. That's just me though. All right, let's see what we have next. Yeah, that, that's right, small pilot houses, 2120 Parker, there's the boat show special, 84,497, so just under 85,000, with a 150 Yamaha, 21 degrees of dead rise, so a deep V uh, pilot house, and it's a, we're going to try to step on this, it's a very interesting design, um, there's the F-150, there's the pilot house, I, this is like a love-hate relationship I have with this boat. Um, for one thing, for a 21, there's quite a bit of fishing room back here, but a lot of that is eaten up by this design, and this is very subjective. Um, you do have a live well here, you have a big splash well there, you have access to your batteries here, I presume the same on the other side. Um, but I would assume this is kind of polarizing. You guys tell me what you think. Uh, it eats up a lot of room here in the center. You obviously have the room on the gunnels to fish. You got two rod holders here too. You have a couple more on the side. You have six on top, which is nice. You have the step down, which I'm not personally a fan of, but it, again, it's all subjective. For a 21 footer, it does give you a decent amount of headroom. You have a big bench seat here. Looks like you have storage under here too, you do. Let me not break this. Um, I think I already broke it. More storage behind here too. Storage over here, cup holder here, mechanical control here. No electronics on this one for that 85-ish price. The windows do all open, which is nice. 
Uh, you have a porta potty here, little sleeping berth, which is nice. You do have access windows here, port window and a, a starboard window on the other side. Windshield wipers, which again is a nice touch. A um, lot of seating room in here for a 21. A lot of fishing room too, but that, I don't know how I feel about that. I know I said it's polarizing. A lot of this stuff is subjective. You can probably add me to the list of people who are not fans of that design. Again, it's subjective. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. The Parker 2120. All right, a brand we don't see a lot of here in the Northeast, Defiance. This is a West Coast brand, uh, maker of Pilot House, very popular in the Pacific Northwest. This is the 220 Admiral. 220 Admiral. Um, let's take a quick look at the specs here. I like the price. 99,990, Whisper Gray Hull, 22, 21 degrees of dead rise, 100 gallons of fuel. Max horsepower is 225. We have a 200, nice economical 200 on this. And I think the reason why it feels bigger is because it is bracketed. Um, so we are not gonna count this roughly three feet. This would make it a 25 if this was a Euro transom, but because it's bracketed, the 22 feet stops there. So yeah, and big and wide in here, geez. Man, you literally could do one of those Greek round folk dances in here. I'm not kidding about that. Got a couple fish boxes on each side. That's very unique. Uh, Bill Jacks is there. Huge flip up rear bench seat there. A couple rod holders here. A couple more here. Bunch more on top. One, two, three, four, five, six on top. LED spreaders. More storage under here. Another little mezzanine facing seat here. Let's step in the cabin. It is a step down cabin. Um, it's not a bad step. Oh, it's nice and quiet in here. Seat here, storage under here, storage under here as well. You got uh, shockwave seats here, that's good, because uh, you are driving very forward, even with a deep V, a 21 degree boat. Uh, the more forward you ride, the more tendency there is to pound in the forward part of the boat. Anybody who rides in the front of a monohull will understand what I'm talking about. Mechanical control, Pop-up window here, slide-out window here, plenty of headroom. Um, six feet tall, I have, I don't know, three inches here. That's one of the benefits of the step-down, I guess. Uh, huge berth area here. A couple people can take a nap in here if they wanted to. There is access to your anchor locker up there. And another seat here, more storage under here. This is a shock seat also. Same types of windows here. Windshield wiper on each side as well. Very nice. Defiance, this is a, this is a great 22. Um, I like this one a lot. This is a, this is a nice boat that you can get a lot of protection in. It's very comfortable in here, but still has a massive amount of uh, fishing room, a lot of storage. And yeah, it gets you out of the elements and you can take this in the ocean on a nice day and certainly you'd have no issue in the bays and sounds here in the Northeast. And there we go, guys. An overview of five pilot houses, all slightly different, all kind of unique in their own way. Uh, again, you, you heard me talking about the Steigercrafts, locally built, how much I like them. That Arima was so unique just on its own. Basically a little skiff with a pilot house in the front, but a unique pilot house with those forward facing, forward slanting, Alaska style windows. Uh, the venerable Parker, uh, I, I, that one to me, and I really do like Parker despite some of those comments you heard. And we'll see that next week when we have the next size up video of pilot houses. But I don't understand what they did with that 2120. It was not like that in the past. And I'm wondering, was it a ride issue? Did they want to put a live well and the center of gravity was off? Or, you know, it was too stern heavy if they kept the live well in the back, so they moved it forward. It's just so weird the way they set it up. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment in the comments. And then that uh, Defiance Admiral 22, what a great boat, reasonably priced. Yeah, that, that's that's one I'd probably consider the most out of all the all of these uh, five boats that we looked at. Again, let me know in the comments which you would pick and why. Hope you enjoy this video. 
As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. And if you're not already a member of the channel, please consider becoming one. Lots of perks associated with that, including early access to videos and free subscriber slash member trips. Um, and going back on the early access to videos, we're going to have a whole series of pilot house boats up from this 2024 Tobey Boat Show, uh, and you'll have access to those way before they go live.